Now, Team Popo, what's your answer? The left half of his body. What the? I saw it too, six years ago. The other half of the corpse. That body teleported here from a parallel world! Oh, it's Brahmin. You are familiar with it? Yeah, I've been here a bunch of times. Ryuki is supposed to be here? I'm certain of it. Okay, let's go in. It's a picture of Ganesha, the Hindu god. Ganesha is worshipped as the god of wealth, especially by merchants. They're gone. Where to? I don't know. Maybe to the mirror world? What? Geni, being this man? Full name, Gen Ishiagane. I met him several times in the past when I was in Date's left eye socket. Yeah, Geni is the owner of this fusion restaurant, Brahmin. He runs it all by himself without hiring any help. But where could he be? It's not like him to leave his customers like this. Come on, Ryuki. Wake up! Hey! I said, wake up! Oh, look! A porno mag! Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to work on Ryuki. I suspect Date would have woken up instantly. Come on, big brother! Wake up! Wake up! If you don't hurry, you're gonna be late! <sighs> He's awake? Nurse, pour some soy sauce on me, please. What? Right down the middle. Jin Furoe's other half was found. The other side of his corpse. The one we couldn't find six years ago. The time of his death was around 12 o'clock today. What do you think that means? Answer me, Ryuki! You were in charge of the HB case, weren't you? <sighs> Make it a side part, please. Ugh. Just what kind of dream is he having? How should I know? Should we try wink sinking? <sighs> Forget it. It'd just be a waste of battery.
Ryuki, please, tell me about six years ago. I want to know all about what happened back then. The HB case and the explosion are related. If I can solve the HB case, maybe I can figure out where he is. I'll take a double shochu curry shot. This is futile, Mizuki. Ryuki's blood alcohol level is 0.32%. He is quite intoxicated. <sighs> In fairness, the reason he's like this now is because of that incident. He had psychological issues before, but the events of the case deepened his condition. As you can see, he now spends his days drowning himself in alcohol. So if we solve this case, we might be able to heal his trauma? It's possible. Then it's all the more reason for him to help. For his own sake, too. Still, I doubt he would wake up even if you cut his eyelids off. What will you do? Isn't it obvious? I'll sink with him. Creepy girls used to climb out of those things in the old days. Creepy girls? That's right. Or was it just one girl? If you copy the tape, is there more than one girl? Or maybe one is real and the rest are clones? They didn't do a good job of explaining it. Either way, it's creepy! something oh, yes that's the cleaning lady oh okay wait what Mizuki, I think you're wasting your time trying to talk to him. He's so soaked in alcohol, you could light his breath on fire with a match. Yo, Ryuki, get up! Uh, careful, Mizuki. If you wake him up now, we'll be the ones mopping up the mess. You didn't see her at the stadium? I did, but she's not back yet? Of course not. This is Boss we're talking about. She's probably at a host club in Kabukicho, licking the salt off her third tequila shot right about now. I know. I got the report. Jin Furaway's right half was found in Studio Divita six years ago. The other half was found at the stadium today, correct? But the corpse's estimated time of death was around 12 today. No signs of the body having been frozen. And Jin doesn't have any twins. 
The theory of the right and left half belonging to different people was debunked earlier, too. What do you mean? We got the DNA results. The DNA extracted from Jin's right half six years ago. The base sequence was an exact match with the left half that was found. A 100% match. They definitely belong to the same person. The right half was found six years ago on February 10th. Today is also February 10th. What could it mean? Mizuki, do you really intend to sync with him? Would it be a problem because he's drunk or something? No, but what I mean is... You haven't gotten permission from Boss, have you? I understand how you feel, Mizuki. I'm sure you want to solve the HB case more than anyone. After all, you lost two very precious things due to that incident. Date, of course, and... Your left eye. At least we didn't have to extract your eye to insert the AI ball. There was nothing left to extract. I am glad the room was vacant. I don't do well with roommates. Listen, you shouldn't delve too deeply into this case. I have a very bad feeling about all this. Don't worry. Boss didn't technically give me permission to sink, but she did assign the investigation to me. Are you sure about this? Yeah. There will be no turning back. I know. I see. Then let's get started. What happened six years ago? Ryuki's memories may hold the answer. Mizuki, the time limit with Insomnium is six minutes. Stay there any longer, and your consciousness will be absorbed into the subject's mind. I got it. This isn't my first time sinking, you know. Okay then, let's begin. been practicing. How's my dancing? Yeah, looking good. Wriggling around like a freshly caught shrimp. Oh, no. Not you two. I'm too cute to be a shrimp. Hey, listen. Now's no time for a dance number. We have an investigation to handle. Ah, uh, yes. My apologies. I felt compelled. Oh, Mizuki, do you know your way around Somnia? If you are assigned to this case, you will be sinking many times, I'm sure. Would you like a refresher? Nah, it's fine. I've sinked plenty of times already. Well, if you do run into any issues, you can always check the manual. The manual explains sinks and Somnia comprehensively. Got it. Thanks. All right, then. This desk and camera are from the interrogation room. But there's no walls or ceiling. What am I supposed to do in a place this bare? Well, before anything... Somnium scan! Activate!
This layer of Ryuki's Somnium appears to have three mental locks. So I gotta unlock those, right? Correct. By doing so, you can travel deeper into his psyche. The truth is found in the deepest layer. Okay, I'll start with this room first. Right. There isn't much to interact with, but there must be a way to continue. A folding chair. Same as the kind in the interrogation room. Try sitting on it. There. Oh! What? Ryuki! Mizuki, now is your chance to question him. Ryuki, can you tell me what you know about the HB case? Why do you keep making me remember? Damn it. Damn it. I was so close to finally forgetting. Please. Stop! Aiba? Ugh. Aiba, you okay? Yeah, it just got really bright. What was that explosion? That blue thing. Is it an eyeball? Ryuki, do you know the culprit? Do you? What is this? Wait, it's a reverse sync. What? Ryuki's consciousness is flowing into your brain, Mizuki. Mr. Date's house. What is this? Soup? We've defended against Ryuki's consciousness. So was everything okay? It should be, but it is peculiar. Usually, the sinker goes into the subject's mind. But for some reason, the subject's consciousness was able to slip into your mind. But you should be fine now. We have blocked the root of intrusion. We are reconnecting to Ryuki's mind via another path. That's good. But why did that happen?
This place is... It's the cathedral. Oh, so this is what you were talking about. Hey, is that rubble? It appears as though the collapse was halted halfway through. Oh, it's Ryuki. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's go! Wait, Mizuki. You can only remain in Somnia for six minutes, 360 seconds. For some reason or another, the passage of time in the interrogation room was slower. But that is not the case now. You need me to find the info within six minutes, right? I got it. While I remain still, time almost stops. But time progresses when I am in motion. That's the system that Pewter came up with, right? I swear, that Pewter is like a tech god. Thank you, XCon! <laughs> That's an interesting way to compliment someone. Anyway, if you are stuck, simply stop moving and observe your surroundings. Look at the map and try to get a hold of the situation. Understood? Yeah, yeah, thanks for the reminder. Go ahead and check that don't display this message again box. I don't have that function. What's this? Oh, we're surrounded. The rubble turned into a hand. Ryuki's dream sure is creepy. Darn, we cannot get through. We need to find a way out of here. It's a torch. It's on fire. Wow. I could do well as a street performer. That looks fun. I'm gonna try that at home. Please don't. I'm kidding. Blowing it out won't work. Mizuki, I have obtained a key. What's that? A key is a new function that Pewter came up with. It uses an algorithm to clarify the rules of a Somnium world or the sync subject psyche. In other words, it tells you how the dream works? Correct. Damn, we can do that now? Pewter's legit. The sync system has evolved greatly. The key can help with unlocking mental locks and better understanding the subject. By searching more, the key will be updated and information accumulated. So the more I search, the more hints I get. A brazier. I can interact with this for whatever reason. It is not getting bigger or smaller. Blowing on it didn't make it waver either. Is this fire real? A brazier. It looks like a normal brazier. Touch it. No. Please, come on. Just the tip, please. Okay, then. Hot! Or... not? So it's fire that's not hot? This fire must have shadow traits. Shadow traits? Different properties from the real world. For example, Consider fire that is not hot. It is as though it is missing a property that it has in the real world. These shadows are usually heavily affected by the nature of dreams, so we might not extinguish this fire in the usual predictable fashion. It's a torch. 
Breathe in what? The torch, duh. What do you mean, duh? That wasn't an obvious answer. I want you to extinguish it by sucking in with your nose. I have never heard of such a thing. You'll never know till you try. Fine. Huh? Ah! I had a feeling that wouldn't work. Mizuki, you have five minutes left. It's a torch. It's a normal torch. I can feel the heat of the fire. There is nothing different. Oh, I see. A brazier. If this brazier is a shadow, we can't extinguish it in the normal way. Let's try something that doesn't normally extinguish fires. All right, suck in really hard. I do have amazing suction. <laughs> amazing suction! Bravo! Marvelous! Huh? Deja vu? Looks like the shadow traits were the key after all. Hmm. That rubble there. Is that lower than before? Do we have another time limit? If we do, we cannot be wasting time. All right. Let's chase after Ryuki. If you get lost, use the map. Yeah, I know. Hey, Ryuki. It's not my fault. Please forgive me. Forgive me! Damn it! We are trapped in this space again. But if we get rid of something with the shadow trait, maybe we can get out. An evolver is floating. Which method do you want to try? Inside the mouth, below the chin, or on the temple? Uh, you don't have any second thoughts about this? I do. But my job is to support you, Mizuki. Above all else, I believe in and obey your orders. I, I see. Thanks. In that case, can you ignore my last command? What the? Aiba! Aiba! It was a blank. My ears are ringing. <sighs> Jeez. Your nose and ears have been through a lot today, huh? I have other holes. I'll be fine. What were you planning on using the other holes for? It appears obeying your command was the right thing to do. Good job, Mizuki. Well done. Oh, uh, yeah. Glad it worked. <sighs> Ryuki! Damn it! Damn it! That's no use. Me dying isn't gonna fix anything! Are these feet? I can't die yet. I'll carry this forever! Let's chase after Ryuki. Oh, yay! I got a timey! You know what a timey is, don't you? Um, 
It's like a useful item that changes the flow of time, right? For the most part, timey is a material capable of modifying the way the brain processes time. By using this, you can slow down or speed up time in the Somnium world. I invented it! You go, Pewter! You cannot hold on to too many at a time, so be sure to use them as they come. This again. But now we know what to do. We need to find the thing with shadow traits and break it, right? Yes, most likely. But it looks like we can only interact with Ryuki. Ryuki. I did nothing wrong. I forgot it all. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy the rest of my days! <laughs> Good timing. I was getting annoyed. Oh, you seem enthusiastic about this. Get a hold of yourself! Uh, huh? Didn't connect. Three minutes left. You can do this. Hey, Ryuki. I can't forget about what I did. I have no future. Are you sure? He's so down on himself. He looks like he needs a good punch. I am not so sure about that, but okay. Get a hold of yourself! Oh, that killed him. Hmm, but nothing changed, which means getting rid of him didn't do anything. Let's inspect another Ryuki. Hey, Ryuki. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. I'm really sorry. I have to live with this for the rest of my life. There could be negative consequences. It's fine, just kick his ass. That sounds awfully violent. I'll try it. Hiya! Ow. That looked painful. He disappeared, but nothing happened. Yeah, nothing's changing. What a waste of a good kick. We should inspect the other Ryukis. I did nothing wrong. I forgot it all. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my days. <laughs> This Ryuki doesn't have a shadow. And something's weird about how positive he is. That must be the shadow trait. So we should do the opposite of what he wants. Yes, the don't encourage the psychotic breakdown plan. Ota would probably love the praise, but this is Ryuki, the honor student we're talking about here. Ryuki, you're doing well. Just forget it all. You did nothing wrong. No one's going to resent you. Boss and everyone else accepts you. Just rest. Take some time off. Enjoy yourself. N no! That's not... Stop! It's all my fault! Which is why I needed to do something! All right! Our plan worked! No, 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 no! No forgiveness! No mercy! Never! Never!
the fire. There's no going back. What is Ryuki holding on to that's hurting him like this? Hey, this police ID is... Mizuki. I'm not leaving until you give me answers, so quit messing around. You probably weren't listening to me at Brahmin, so I'll say it again. No need. Tama told me earlier, Jin Furue's other half was found. But the body was alive until noon today. You want to know how? It's simple. Jin's left half flew here. It flew through time from the world six years ago. What are you talking about? Ryuki, I looked inside your mind. I know. You synced with me, didn't you? Who was that person? That person? The person who was reaching out to you at the end of the Somnium. Tell me, something happened six years ago that I don't know about. What was it? You really want to know? Yeah. You could be putting yourself in danger. I'm not afraid. Fine, then I'll tell you. But I'm sure there's no need to explain what happened on February 10th, six years ago. Yeah, I was there, at the studio. Alright, then I'll start from the part you don't know about. The day after the incident. February 11th. What's up, Ryuki? 
Mr. Date. How long are you going to keep that here? Uh, until I get a new boyfriend. Then it's gonna stay there forever. Date, I'm assigning you to Venezuela. Good luck! Uh, I haven't been on a board in a while. I wish I could go. I think you've fallen your ass plenty already. You want to hear some juicy gossip? I heard they got transferred to Lemniscade. Okay. Uh huh. Good for them. Hey, I'm your superior, you know. You should all at least pretend you're interested. What's wrong? You've been staring. Oh, it's nothing. Reminds me of you, boss. Which part? Did you know this doll can talk, Ryuki? He's my childhood friend. What? What are you talking about? I'm a sucker for anything shiny or black. What about cockroaches, boss? They're shiny and black. Okay, I'm reducing your salary. Oh. Your heart rate is increasing. Don't tell me. You are imagining a woman's bathhouse, aren't you? 
fantasizing about the shiny faucets? Why would that part be my fantasy? I heard that's boss's grandfather. Don't fill his head with nonsense. That's not my grandfather. That's my grandfather's death mask. Not any less weird. I remember Mr. Date telling me, you like to hit that thing when you're feeling stressed out, right, boss? Oh, no, I wouldn't do something so brutish. I just throw it against the wall. That's even worse. Tama, show me the news. That's not how you ask for a favor, is it? I beg of you, Lady Tama. Hmm, how about this? I said news, not nudes. <laughs> Wanna see it again? No, thank you. What is it, Ryuki? The QR code on that sign was shown during the live stream, too. Yeah, quite clearly. That means it was seen by people around the world. They say the ViewCube video and the link got several million views. The account is already deleted, but you know how it is. People uploaded copies to other sites almost immediately. That means the actual number of people who saw it is several times greater. Anything strange happened since? What do you mean? Maybe a bunch of people being sent to the hospital after seeing the video or something. No, I haven't heard any reports like that so far. I see. Like I said, the uploader of the original video is unknown. I see a stupid looking man's face. Like this. It's all right now! Because I am here! Half might! Half for all! We are full-time heroes! Ryuki? You feeling okay? Maybe we should have a doctor take a look at you. Yeah, I'll try. You'll try? What the hell is that? Why don't you say it like you mean it, asshole? It's your duty to solve this case. This is why you're here, isn't it? Don't worry, I'm fine. You're trying to convince yourself, aren't you? Poor Ryuki, you're exhausted. I got it, Tama. You can close it. Nice and soft. It feels kind of soothing, being here. Anything to promote office wellness. What are you talking about? Well then, you won't mind if I join you. I'm kidding.
I saw the news last night. I talked to Boss earlier too, so I know the gist of what's going on. A corpse suddenly appeared in the middle of a live stream, right? And for some reason, just the right half. Like it traveled through time and space. Advice? I only give advice when I'm drinking. Shall we? It's not even noon yet. Who cares? I'm on vacation. Well, I'm not. Come on. My treat, as usual. No, I'll just handle this myself. What? Drink with me. There's a real cozy bar in Omiya I know about. I think you'll like it. All the bartenders are sexy women, aren't they? <gasps> How did you know? And why Omiya of all places? You don't know? Saitama is hot right now. It's warm at this time of year? That's not what I meant. Hmm? Is there something on my face? Well, um... The face you have now isn't your real face, is it? You got your old body back during the new Cyclops serial killings case, so... Yeah, well, I decided to have a custom mask made. Everyone knows me by this face. Besides, this one is, uh, more popular with the ladies. I don't think it makes much of a difference. Shut up! <laughs> Looks cool, doesn't it? I'm wearing the patch because Iva ran away from home. That's not the whole story, though, is it, Dante? You tried to watch a VR video of bikini girls splitting watermelons at the beach. I can't do this anymore! I am done being your partner! So Iva left out of Dante's eye socket and ended up at my place. So she's at your house right now? No, she's working on a top secret mission. What mission? If I told you, it wouldn't be top secret. I thought you were on vacation. Yeah, new labor laws. I'm supposed to be on break. And why are you here? Well, why not? I was bored, so I thought I'd come play darts. This is supposed to be a place of business. Could you not play around in here? What? This room is full of things to play with. Maybe this case is like a Matryoshka doll. That sounds deep, but I don't think that has anything to do with this case. country's been talking about it all day. Not just Japan, but the whole world. A body sliced in half suddenly appeared in the middle of a broadcast, and then there was that weird QR code too. I'd be surprised if it didn't go viral. But how strange. There was a blackout before the corpse appeared, right? So why didn't the stream get cut off? It hasn't even been half a day. No new info for you yet. Jin's left half hasn't been found yet either. Why did his right half burst into flames like that? We're still looking into it. But I was told they haven't recovered any mechanical or electrical pieces. So, it wasn't a time bomb. Do you think it could have been spontaneous combustion? Who knows? What? You went to a host club in Kabukicho after the investigation, didn't you? would do such a thing? I mean, you usually do that. I went straight home last night. I can't be out drinking every night. My kid would never let me hear the end of it. I'm sorry, your kid? Yeah, my little girl. At least, I think she's a little girl. I didn't spot any dangly bits, so unless she says otherwise. I had no idea you had a daughter, boss. Neither did I. I didn't know either. Why'd you keep that a secret all this time? It wasn't a secret. No one asked. Okay then. 
Tama and I will continue the investigation. Oh, wait. Before you go, there's one thing I want you to be careful about. Abyss is having issues with the communication network right now. Any data obtained by your AI ball can't be uploaded to the cloud. Yeah, I can't do any backups right now. I can only save data inside my body's storage. So we'll be in big trouble if you break. Yes, any data saved from today on will be lost. Understood. We'll be careful. So, where do you plan on going first? I thought we'd start by asking around for more info. I haven't been able to talk to the people who are at the scene much yet. Mizuki, Iris, Moma, Chenpei, and Andy's Komeiji, the host. Do you have their locations? Yes, I've obtained each of their locations through the GPS on their smartphones. First, Mizuki is at a place called Matsushita Diner. Ota's place. Iris seems to be on the campus of Sekiba High. Makes sense. She's a student there, after all. Moma and Chinpei are at the Pumakura office. Right. The Dragon and Lantern's place. And finally, Kameiji. He seems to be on the rooftop amusement park at Misaton. Misaton? That department store in Shinjuku? Do you want to ride along for the investigation, Mr. Date? <laughs> I'm not gonna work on my day off. I'm not that bored. Bored enough to come here? There are many types of boredom. This is different. Well, Ryuki, I'm counting on you. Right. Leave it to me. Tama, you take care of Ryuki, okay? Always.